Mystic Meg died in the early hours of the morning after being admitted to hospital last month. World-renowned astrologer Mystic Meg died at the age of 80 at 3.45 a.m. on Thursday morning. She had been battling a short illness and had been admitted to hospital last month while suffering with flu. Her long-term agent Dave Chaplin said, as reported by The Sun, without any question, she was Britain's most famous astrologer by a million miles. Nobody came close to Meg in that respect. She was followed by millions in this country and also around the world. She even became part of the English language. If a politician, somebody from showbiz or ordinary people in the street are asked a tricky question they will say, Who do you think I am? Mystic Meg. It shows what an impact she made. Piers Morgan, who also worked with Meg at the News of the World, added to the publication. Mystic Meg was Britain's most famous astrologer and a fascinatingly mysterious lady who loved her work with a passion but was rarely seen or heard in public. I was her editor at the News of the World for several years and she was extraordinarily professional in everything she did. A master of her very popular craft. Meg, who was born and raised in Accrington, Lancashire, began her career at the News of the World as a sub-editor before becoming the paper's regular astrologer in the 1980s. Meg then shot to wider fame when she hosted a regular item on the National Lottery. She appeared weekly from 1994 to 2000 in Mystic Meg Predicts, a 45-second reading during which Meg attempted to predict facts about the future winner. She also hosted Mystic Meg's Wheel of Destiny for Sun Bingo after joining the publication 23 years ago. Little is known about Meg's private life but it is thought that she lived alone in Notting Hill with seven cats. She rarely gave interviews but did reveal that her psychic talents were inherited by her great-grandmother. She said, as reported by the aforementioned publication, Like all children, I had special friends no one else could see but while most kids are talked out of theirs, my great-grandmother who had the gift made sure I kept mine. The gift often skips a couple of generations so my mother, who was an engineer, was annoyed, rather than impressed when I used to tell her who was going to knock on the door half an hour before they did. My great-grandmother's tarot cards vanished the day she died, five days before her 100th birthday, just as she predicted. Meg never married but did fall in love with millionaire Nigel Moores, brother of the late football executive David Moores. Sadly, Nigel died in 1977 in a car crash in the south of France and her agent said there was never another man in her life. He concluded. She gave the impression of being a recluse, living on her own with her crystal ball and seven cats for company. That was the reality. She was a very private person.